Hi, everyone. Welcome to the session. My name is Jie. I'm a program manager from Azure Data Team. In this video, I will walk you through how you can build your extreme analytics jobs and all the capabilities we provide to help you develop, test, and publish using Visual Studio Code. At the Build Conference in May 2019, we announced the public preview of Azure Stream Analytics tools for Visual Studio Code. VS Code enables users to author and test queries with a lightweight editor that runs on Mac, Linux, and Windows. These tools complement existing tools such as the Azure Portal, Visual Studio, and APIs. ASC tools for VS Code supports the full ASC SQL language. Users can enjoy the power of IntelliSense, syntax highlighting, and see error markers. Core code authoring scenarios such as ASC scripting, local testing, and job pipeline definition are all covered. The ASC tools integrate seamlessly with the cloud allow users to compile and submit jobs to the ASC service. Along with the ASA tooling, there is an NPM package called Azure Stream Analytics CICD that users can download to set up CICD pipelines. With in-the-box Git support from VS Code, users can easily commit ASA projects to Git and then use the CICD NPM package either on a build server or VM, to build the projects into deployable Azure Resource Manager templates. Now, let's take a closer look at what features are supported in Stream Analytics tools for VS Code. Not only ASC Cloud jobs are supported in this public preview version of the tools. Edge jobs are not supported at this point. I will do a demo to walk through several useful features, such as creating new projects, testing the query locally, defining job inputs and outputs, publishing to Azure, and exporting an existing job to local project to add source control and edit. I will also introduce the NPM package I mentioned that helps you set up continuous integration and deployment pipelines. At the end of the video, I will share the location of the Getting Started tutorials. First, let me open Visual Studio Code and install the extension. From Extensions on the left pane, search for Stream Analytics and select Install on the Azure Stream Analytics extension. Once the extension is installed, Verify that Azure Stream Analytics Tools is visible in your enabled extensions. You can see that the installation is very fast. Select the Azure icon on the VS Code activity bar. Stream Analytics will be visible in the sidebar where you can see the Azure Explorer. Under Stream Analytics, select Sign to Azure. When you are signed in, your Azure account name appears on the status bar in the lower left corner of the VS Code window. If you have already signed in, your Stream Analytics jobs will be shown under Stream Analytics node. Now let's create a new Stream Analytics project. Press Ctrl Shift plus P to open the command palette. Then type ASA and select ASA Create New Project. Input your project name and select a folder for your project. The new project will be added to your workspace automatically. An ASA project consists of the query script, a job config JSON file, and an ASA project JSON configuration file. The ASA project JSON configuration file contains the inputs, outputs, and job configuration file information needed 
for publishing the Azure Stream Analytics job to Azure. You can test your Stream Analytics jobs locally with sample data to validate the query logic. This capability is super helpful as it enables you to fast iterate on the query logic to make sure it outputs the result as expected. You don't even need to connect to Azure or network. The VS Code tools provide powerful IntelliSense support, including syntax highlighting, auto-completion, and error marker. Before editing the ASA SQL query, let's add the local input file for testing. In this way, you can use not only syntax auto-completion, but also more advanced semantics auto-completion, including input names and column names, etc. The semantics auto-completion feature is also available if you have specified cloud inputs. The tools will automatically connect to cloud inputs and get the column names. To add a local input file, use Ctrl plus Shift plus P to open the command palette. Type and select ASA at input, then select local input. Select new local input and enter the same input alias that you used in your query. In the newly generated local input configuration file, enter the path where your local data file is located. Then let's start to write the query. You can see that it is very convenient to type the query with all the assistant of IntelliSense features. When you finish writing a query, return to your query editor and select Run Locally. Note that you need to accept the user agreement the first time you download the Local Run SDK. The Local Run result will be output to both JSON and CSV files, and you can open them in VS Code directly. To publish your job to Azure, you need to define the job topology first. Select Ctrl Shift P to open the command palette and enter ASA add input. Choose IoT Hub for the input type. Choose the ASA query script that will use the input. It should automatically populate with the file paths to the recent one you use. Enter the input file name as iothub.json. Edit iothub.json with proper values. The tools use VS Code CodeLens feature to help you fill in the resource properties from drop-down lists instead of inputting them manually. You can edit the properties and select from your subscriptions to list the resources. Follow the same steps to define the job output. When the inputs and outputs are defined, you can publish your job to Azure. In the script editor window of VS Code, select Select from your subscriptions to publish, and then select your subscription from the pop-up list. Choose Create a new job and enter your job name, My ASA Job, and then follow the instructions to choose the resource group and the location. Select Publish to Azure.
The logs can be found in the output window. When your job is created, you can see it in the Stream Analytics Explorer. Right-click on the job name, then select Start from the context menu to start the job. When job is running, you can choose Open Job View in Portal to see the input and output event metrics. As I mentioned in the previous section, when adding inputs and outputs using the command palette, the corresponding paths will be added into asaproject.json automatically. If you want to share inputs, outputs, and functions across different queries, you can also manage the inputs and outputs configuration files in one place and then reference them in different jobs by manually specifying the paths in each ASA project.json, like I do in this demo. You can see that ASA job 1 and ASA job 2 are sharing the input configurations. It is very easy to export your existing jobs in the cloud to local projects to develop in VS Code. Locate the job you wish to export in the Stream Analytics Explorer in VS Code. Then select a folder for your project. The project is exported to the folder you select and you can continue to manage the job from VS Code. For more information on using VS Code to manage Stream Analytics jobs, see the VS Code Quick Start. VS Code has integrated source control and include Git support in the box. Many other source control providers are available through extensions on the VS Code Marketplace. In VS Code, you can compile the project to Azure Resource Manager templates for deployment. Right-click in the script editor and choose ASA Compile Script. The two generated ARM templates files will be placed in a folder called Deploy. One file is the job definition ARM template. The other file is the parameter file where you can replace the parameters during deployment according to different environments. In addition to that, we provide an NPM package to help you set up continuous integration and deployment process. The NPM package provides the tools to generate ARM templates for VS Code projects. It can be used on Windows, Mac, and Linux without installing VS Code. Once you have downloaded the package, use the build command to output the ARM templates. The script path argument is the absolute path to the ASA file in your project. Make sure the ASA project JSON and job config.json files are in the same folder with the script file. If the output path is not specified, the templates will be placed in the deploy folder under the project's bin folder. More details on how to set up a CICD pipeline on Azure DevOps can be found in another upcoming tutorial session. Thank you for joining the session. Try Azure Stream Analytics in Visual Studio Code today by following the quick start and stay informed with updates at Azure Streaming on Twitter.